<laughs> How was that coming out there? Like they put you in NXT, and obviously you were with the Miz. And I mean, I think we've probably talked about it before, but but it just like it seems so. So I thought it was a really cool opportunity, especially the stuff with the Miz. And I, what. What's really funny is that they never played this up. So they explained the show to us like this. We were going to have mentors, right? And so the, we'd have these mentors and we would be their rookies and that they would be training us and being in WWE. So I thought, great. I had some nicer gear. I'm not going to wear it. Mm. I'm going to wear the plainest gear possible. And I'm going to make my hair a bowl cut because <laughs> this is what what I was honestly thinking was that like, Okay, you put me with the Miz. He's going to teach me to be a star. Like, oh, sure, you can wrestle, but that doesn't matter here. You know what I mean? You need to be a star, whatever it is. So, and I like that idea. Miz like that idea, like all this stuff. But they just never did it. So I just, <laughs> I never explained. Yeah, it. I just came out looking like a doofus every week. <laughs> <laughs> like because like before like when I was in uh, Ring of Honor before that I kind of had longer hair and my beard a little bit you know and I thought oh you know I'm gonna make myself look like a real, yeah. real nerd and then they just went with oh Daniel Bryan's just a nerd that's his gimmick <laughs> so see that's true like a uh, dedication yeah I did that for, for the New Japan thing I was like I was like I'd always watch guys like Tenru and Choshu and those guys and like I'm thinking if I'm going to New Japan I'm going to be like a crazy freaking heavyweight so I gained five pounds uh -huh. just like I wanted to be bigger but you know they're very thick yeah I'm thick anyways I've never been like a, a, a back you know right chiseled guy svelte you've svelte. never been svelte yeah you know <laughs> but to, just, I felt like Robert De Niro and Raging Bull like I'm trying to put on five pounds like, this is terrible yeah when do you ever eat so much right but I, I wanted a certain look for that match uh -huh. to really and maybe it was just my I might be the only one that noticed, but it just felt like a different guy. Yeah. You know, that's cool that you did that. I had no idea. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, the, I mean, there, and I've always kind of thought in terms of that, like, okay, because the look is a big part of the presentation, like we were just talking about before, as far as like my size, I don't necessarily need to be bigger, but if you're not going to be bigger, you need to have a certain presence about you or a certain thing that if you're small, if you're small, how do you compete with big guys for to a casual fan, right? Yeah. Like all that kind of stuff. And so all that kind of stuff just interests me. And it's like, it's probably stuff that doesn't matter to the people who are booking WWE, but like to me it does. And mm -hmm. so it's like, because if I were a fan, I'd be like, okay, I'd want to know why, why this person thinks that he can beat these people 50 pounds heavier than him right, or right, why right, he right. can beat the big show or whatever it is. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And so a lot of um, it's your style too, though, like a stronger yeah, style. Yeah. Very crisp. Yeah. You know, not so, stiff, but crisp. Yeah. Yeah.